Good morning, everyone. It is a beautiful day. This is Washington in the wintertime. So far, this whole week has been like nothing but blue skies, amazing sunrises, incredible sunsets. We are out here on a Monday. This is my second day off this weekend. We are going out to one of my favorite rivers and we're going to a different spot. I've never fished this far up this river. We're gonna see if we can get one of these beautiful steelhead or coho on a twitching jig. So I've got my heavy action bait caster, seven foot seven, I think, and some half ounce, three eighths ounce, pink, green, and black twitching jigs. That's the game plan for today. I'm about 20 minutes away, but I just had to pull over to enjoy this. All right guys, so we just pulled up to the spot. It is absolutely freaking gorgeous out. So I'm gonna get ready quick. I wanna take a lot of B-roll today, but fortunately I can't, because I gotta go to the dentist, because I got a freaking root canal, and I have to get my crown put in. So, my life has been extraordinary, for anybody wondering. All righty, GoPro is all strapped up. We got fly rod and the heavy action bait caster. Also guys, sad news, the Jeep has officially been listed for sale. So yeah, I don't, I don't wanna do it, but if you are in Washington, Oregon, or a surrounding state interested in the vehicle, hit me up. Yeah, unfortunately. Baby girl's been listed. So if you see her on Facebook Marketplace, it's actually me. It's not somebody trying to pose as me. Let's go fishing. Hopefully we can find at least one fish of some sort. Alrighty guys, so this is it. This is spot number one here. We are using this pink and white twitching jig, my Abu Garcia Revo X, and the heavyweight Vendetta. This is the 7.3, heavyweight fast action. I'm gonna give a few casts in here, and then the real pool that I wanna fish is right down this next river section. So, fish here first. Got a little bit of rain last night. So, brought the water up a smidge. Nothing crazy, obviously. Beautiful color. Hopefully we can find fish, at least one, in this system. It's a coho. It's a coho. We're on with the coho. It's not a big one. Oh my god, he's ripping drag. He's ripping drag. He's ripping drag. He's ripping drag. Come on, fish. Get up here. Wow, that was amazing.
Oh no, 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 no. He's ripping more drag. Come on, come on. Get up here. Get up here. Come on. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? net. I actually brought a net today too. Oh. oh, I missed him. I missed him. No, no. Come on. The jig did it! The pink jig! Holy crap! It's a wild too. This is my first wild salmon that I've caught. No tags, nothing. Just a beautiful, beautiful wild coho. Look at that. No way. All right. All right, we're going to get this fish back in just because it's a wild. I'm not going to take any pictures with it. Hopefully the footage is good. One last look at that beautiful fish. Look at that coho. Oh my God. Beautiful wild coho. Okay. Go on, sweetie. Go on, get back in there. Off he goes. Bald eagle. Thank you. Let's go, yes! That was so awesome. Alright, we got one. Already, already beat the expectations for today. I felt him swim down with it. And I set the hook, so I'm so happy. I'm so happy, guys. You have no idea. Let's get another. Why not? Why not? Game plan. We're going downstream right below this next ripple. Super deep pool. I know there's fish in there, especially if there was a fish here. There's definitely more fish in that pool because it's deeper and on a better rock wall. So let's move down there real quick and try and catch another. This is always a little sketchy walking with the camera out. Um, but I guess that's what being in a rush does to you. You're going to do some sketchier things with your gear. Even though I don't like it, I'm still gonna do it. There we go, there we go, we're in. Just a little bit. Kept the camera dry, that's all that matters. Just a little timber. Wake you up. A very pathetic slow-mo fall. <laughs> I'm 
wet. All the way up to the arm. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I'm fishing one more spot, which is the tail out of this little run here. Let's fish this for another 10 minutes and then call it a day. safe at the Jeep I mean can't ask for more than that today um, came out I knew I had like maybe max of two hours to fish rolled out through this uh, property that I haven't fished before it's a public property that's well it's a private property that's you're allowed to hike in you aren't allowed to drive in so um, yeah just came out on a whim brought the twitching jig brought the fly rod ended up catching a fish on both of them Fly rod was obviously just like a little trout or baby salmon with par marks and all that, but caught that beautiful, beautiful wild, my first wild coho on that pink twitching jig in um, that, that kind of rock eddy wall sort of deal. So really appreciate you guys watching. Um, it's been tricky getting out because the Jeep's been giving me so many problems, but I've got her all fixed up now. She's running beautifully. It's just time to move on to a different vehicle. I need something with better gas mileage, something that can go on longer road trips. So I'm gonna be moving on, but she is for sale, like I said at the start of the video. If you're interested and you're in Washington or a surrounding state, hit me up. I can give you some info. I've done a, a ridiculous amount of modifications, all very expensive. I didn't cheap out on the parts. So if you're interested, let me know. Appreciate you all watching. Thank you again for coming along. And that concludes this video. Stick around for the next one. I'll roll a uh, few videos here in the posts that you might enjoy. So consider clicking on one of those, watching. Make sure you leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. And thanks y'all so much. Catch you on the next one.